This looks good, bro. What is up, you two? We're back. I was actually here at this very spot today. Not this, like, exact spot, but the same river today. And the action was very well. You will see a video probably before this one. A little catch and cook. Got six trout out of one hole, man. Six trout. So I already know the action's going to be on fire today. So we're just going to get right into it. Start fishing. I got a uh, little Panther Martin on. It's a cold one I always go with. Very nice and subtle for creeks like this. And fish seem to love it. So we're going to try throwing this guy around for a little bit. See if we get anything. I do not have my waders on as you can see. But there's definitely enough bank access to get something done around here. I want to try casting in this tunnel too. I have a good feeling that something might be hanging out down here, especially in the rain. I'm gonna make it onto this trail right here. This is basically how we get around the entire creek if we're not in waders, which is obviously today's scenario, but it's that good that it's wheelchair accessible. So we'll definitely have no problem getting around. Got some ducks over here. Look at these guys. Don't know what kind that is, but. This looks like a good hole over here. Gonna try to cast it under here. Oh my god, I had one. I have one. Alright, so there's there's fish in here. That was a perfect cast. Just gonna bring it down. And we're on. Oh, that is a nice fish. That is a nice fish. We are on. First fish of the day. Nice brookie. Hammered it. Come on, buddy. Oh, got him. Beautiful. Okay. First fish of the day. Nice little brookie. Just gonna handle this guy real quick and we'll let him go. Beautiful brook trout. Look at that. Awesome. Let me let this guy go. There he goes. Good fish to start the day. That didn't take long at all. Cast it right on in here. Second cast, he hit it first cast, I'm pretty sure. Then he came for it again and he got it. This is a really nice deep hole here. It's probably about five foot max. And this guy was just chilling down there. I guarantee there's another one down there. There has to be like, this is just a too big enough hold to not hold one fish. So I'm just gonna keep trying in here for a little bit. Now, what I've found helps with these fish is sometimes, you know, they get used to the, the spinner bait being chucked there a bunch. So then you throw something a little less, uh, a little less crazy. I just had another one chasing. I saw him with my eyes too. So anyway, you want to throw something that's like a little less, more subtle, I guess. So trout magnet is the OG bait. Literally says trout in the name. And yes, it does work like a magnet trout that's definitely what i found so we're gonna throw on one of those this next spot coming up is right under this bridge right here and oh will i tell you it is perfect i missed the huge brown last time i went here i'm talking this thing was big and it was right in that spot over there. We will be there in just a second.
right here. This spot is very good. It's a nice little deep hole. It gets to about maybe three feet in the middle, but the current is what attracts these trout. We'll just rip it down. We'll probably get something. Oh my God, I have one. Little guy. Nice little brown. Baby little brown there, nice. Surprised to get one on that thing, but there he goes. Yep, had another one following it there. Tiny, there's, there's like two or three tiny fish in here. Most of them aren't gonna be able to actually, oh, that was a bigger one. Bigger one just attacked it. This water's clear enough to where I can actually see these fish, but on the camera, you're not gonna be able to. But a, a big brookie just attacked my spinning bait right there. So just gonna keep chucking this in there. Hopefully we can get one to actually nail it. You can make it though. You can make it across. Oh, of course. Now my foot's soaked. Hey, it's all good though. Well, got a little wet coming here, but I think this spot will pay out pretty good. I'm not worried about my foot being soaking wet because I'll be leaving pretty soon. Surprisingly, we haven't gotten any bites yet. I figured there, you know, there would be a trout in here just because of the current and all that. But the only bites I'm getting are bugs bites. I think we'll prevail eventually. Oh, yep, yep, yep. There was one hiding right under the log. I, I kind of dropped it down right in front of him. And he, and he nailed it, so. Wasn't good enough to get him, but. I'm just gonna keep trying that and see if he bites it again. There's another good deep hole coming up here. I bet we'll get something out of this one. That one, surprisingly, didn't get us a fish that would bite. I think just there's too much current. There, there could be a point where that actually happens. It's, I feel like that's possible. We're gonna rip this guy through the current. Yep, and we're on. Saw him come out. Awesome, man. There should be a bunch of fish in this little hole because it's 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 a wide stretch where it's uh where it's deep. So. There we go. Rookie in the net. So yeah, I had to cut a hole in my net for one of my good lures that I lost. Not lost, but got caught in the net. So he ended up escaping through there. I didn't think it was possible, but as you can see, you know, that's definitely big enough. It's just farther up. So, well, he's gone. Didn't really get a good view of him, but you get the idea. Nice brookie. That's fish number three for today. All of them landed on the Panther Martin. This thing is absolutely killer, as you can see. And I think we'll be able to land at least another one out of here. Yep, just had another one. Yep, there he is. Ah, oh, came off. Hit it twice. Second time he got hooked for a second, but came off. So that was fish number two from this hole. See if he'll bite again. Yep. Oh, he he went after. Oh my God, he is aggressive. That he hit it three times. Okay, so this fish obviously doesn't know what a lure is. So hopefully he can get it this time. Dude, just keeps biting it. Just keeps nipping the thing. Fish probably bit this lure six times already. 
I'm optimistic though, it's just that one time where it'll get hooked. Oh, we're on, oh, he came off. He had another one. Three fish I counted for this hole. Just lost the other one. Curious to see if it'll bite again. I, I guess probably not, but hey, the other, the other trout nipped it six times and still went for it, so we'll have to see. So we found a little trail off the ways and we have found another deep hole. I actually remember this one pretty well. It's just the side hole channel that goes along the uh, far side of the creek and it usually holds one or two fish in here so we're gonna see if we can get one out of here all right guys so we just finished off the day i just tried to do this outro but my gopro died so we're doing it on the old iphone anyway we caught three trout today we got two brooks one brown i'd say that's a pretty successful venture so I figured out that I can actually walk most of this creek by this trail right here and it goes all around. Some spots are definitely better with waders but some are not and we managed to catch fish. That was the only mission today. In total I caught nine trout. You're gonna see the other six on that video. It's gonna be a little separate thing but anyway hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you like, drop a little comment, and subscribe. See y'all later.